What is up guys? It is the Ville Outdoors here. Today is April 8th of 2019. I am back at the secret wild trout spot and we are going to be getting some revenge on these wild trout. If you saw my latest video, I was here yesterday throwing some lures for these fish and then eventually switched over to bait and things did not go all that well. I caught two wild brown trout but nothing else after that. So I'm back here today. I got my five foot or five five or not five 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 and a half foot Kunin 96 classic rod which I inherited from my uncle and that has a Shimano Zeraka 2500 reel on it and I also got two pound Leland Lures SOS trout line on there so we are all rigged up and ready to go for trout fishing I'm not going to use lures today. I got my shovel right here. We are going to get to the spot that I want to fish, dig up some worms, and then we're going to get right into fishing for some wild trout. And hopefully I can catch a few more than I did yesterday for you guys. So stay tuned because today should be a good day. All right, guys, just dug up some worms right here got worm hooked up right here made it to the spot we're gonna try a couple casts see if there's any fish in here so wish me luck I'll be back in a few all right guys so I just had a few fish swipe at my worm hopefully the cast I just made would be better or is better You just gotta wait for the bite. When the fish pick up the worm, you'll feel like a little tap, tap, tap. And then once that tap, tap, tap hits, that's when you let her rip, set the hook, and no playing around. I thought it would be tapped by now, but I guess not. There's definitely fish here though, I already saw them, so can't say it's a spot. Not yet at least. Alright guys, just caught the first wild brown trout of the day. And look how dark this beauty is. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Get a glimpse of that guys. What a beautiful fish. Gonna take a quick picture. Give him a nice release. Alright guys, time to release this beauty back into the water. And there he goes. Beautiful fish. Unfortunately I had to cut my line and then dig the hook out. That was the easiest way to get it. Out. I did get the hook out. He's hook free. So we're going to tie on and get back in the game. Alright guys, I got myself rigged up with another worm here. This one's dangly and juicy. And just going to throw it back in the hole and see if we can pull another one out of here. Bring that in a bit more so we don't get snagged. Crouch down in a stealthy position and wait for the tug. Any day now. Any day now. Alright, guys, I can't walk any further because, as you might be able to see, the conservancy area ends here. So I 
I'm now required to start walking back the other way and fishing all the holes I didn't hit yet or that I want to hit again. So that is what we are going to be doing. We caught one so far. Beautiful colors on that one. He was a nice dark brown coloration with nice red spots. Now we gotta go find some more, some more wild brown trout. All right guys, I'm fishing this hole right here and I just had a big bite and the funny thing is my line wasn't even frayed, but it was on and it just cut my line like clean off pretty much. So I just got tied on another size 10 hook, another worm. We're going to wait for another bite. It felt like a big bite too. But yeah, we're going to give this a couple minutes and see if we can come up with a fish here in a few. Alright guys, we got a fish on right here. He's fighting really good. It looks like a good size. I'm just going to hope he doesn't break off. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, come here. Come here, big boy. Oh yeah. That was a risky flip, but... We, that's a nice one. Look at that. Beaut right there, guys. Beautiful trout. I'm gonna take a picture and release them. Be right back. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, just caught that nice fish. Got myself hooked up with another worm. We're gonna get back in there and get ready to roll. What you want to do is you want to, when you're fishing like a current and then a deep pool like this, you want to cast like right before where you want your bait to be because the current is just going to drag your bait in there. Most of you probably already knew that, but just in case you're not a seasoned pro at fishing, you want to cast before the spot you want to cast when you're fishing current because the current's going to drag your bait to your location. This is mainly just for bottom fishing. I mean, casting, you can just roll with whatever. It'll still have like the same effect. The current will still have the same effect, but it wouldn't be as dramatic because you're gonna have that bait moving pretty much the whole time. So we're just gonna stay patient wait for another bite and maybe we can catch another one out of this hole we'll get lucky and catch two out of one hole sometimes it doesn't happen yesterday this hole caught i think five fish my friend tom caught four out of this hole on minnows and i caught one on a minnow Let's see. We get a bite here. Any minute now. All right, guys. Well, I'll be back with a bite and a fish. All right, guys. So I got about an hour until I have to leave. The spot wasn't really producing fish. So I'm going to take this time to dig up some worms. Now, if you guys are out fishing and you don't know how to dig up worms to fish with, you're going to look for dirt like this. See how this dirt is all stirred up like that, all messed up at the top, it's all bumpy. You want to dig right in there, sift around, and look at this. You're going to find worms. Here, I'll dig some out for you. I got a couple right here. Oh, and he just fell. But here's a piece of one. You're going to find worms like this. 
see, look at that. I just got two right there. Two nice little trout worms. Another one right here. Three. And you're just gonna have a whole bunch of worms after like 15 minutes of doing this. And it doesn't take much work at all. Look, like there's a nice one right there. But make sure you fill it back in. Once you're done, you don't wanna mess up the spot. But yeah, I'm just gonna do this for a bit more and um, collect some more worms to fish with because I'm running a bit low. All right, guys, I have had bites on two casts, casting right up against that log. So we're just gonna give another test. See if I get another bite. If not, then we'll put another worm on and toss it out there. I don't think I'm getting any interest here. Let's try another cast. We only got a tidbit of worm left on there, so that might be the problem, or is the problem. But I got them before, so. I'm gonna throw another worm on here and try a couple more casts if I don't get a bite. Then we're just gonna head to the next hole. All right, so that fish didn't come back to play. So we are on to the next spot. This is where I caught one of my fish in yesterday's video and I had another one on here that got off. So we're gonna give this a couple casts, see if we can get any bites. If we can, great. If not, we'll head to the next spot. Let's see. Oh, there's a bite, there's a bite. Ah, too soon, too soon. All right, well, we know they're here. I throw it back in there. Oh, good cast. Get low. All right, that's a leaf. That's not gonna cut it. So I got a good amount of worm on there. Maybe hook it once over. There we go, just like that. And toss it out there one more time. And see if any taps. Oh, there's a couple taps. I don't think he has it yet. I think he dropped it. We're gonna reel it in. Oh, he took our worm, that's why. All right, I'm gonna put another worm on here. I'll be back to fish this spot a couple more times. All right, re-rig the worm and we are ready to go. I don't know if that cast is gonna do anything that that wasn't that great. Yeah, let's redo that. I don't like it. We should probably move the split shot up too. That might be what's scaring these fish. There you go. I'm gonna have it about a foot from the line or the hook. And toss her out there. Get her all dangle. I'm feeling a bite this cast, guys. No? These fish are calling me a liar? Alright guys, well I'll be back with the fish. If this spot doesn't pan out, we're gonna move on back upstream. Well, I guess it's downstream since the water's moving that way. So downstream. Alrighty guys, we're gonna head over to the bridge where 
I entered the spot at. And we're gonna fish that spot. And by that time, it's gonna be time to head on out of here. So, let's get to it and I'll see you there. All right guys, just pulled my third fish of the day from this brush pile over here. Nice brown trout. Hooked him right on the mouth and the hook just popped out. But look at that fish. Beautiful colors. Gotta take a picture and release this guy. All right, ten, time to send him back into the pool. He's gonna take the plunge. And look at that, he's good to go. On that note, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Fished from about 4.50 till about 7, 7.15 today. Caught three fish on the worms that I dug up. So for not having quality bait, not having any lures, it was a pretty good fishing trip. Wild trout, always a fun time, beautiful fish. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't miss one of those steps. And always be sure to ring that bell if you subscribe because for some reason YouTube doesn't want to give you notifications on when I upload unless you ring that bell. So be sure to ring that bell. And on that note, I'm going to leave end this fishing session and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of the Ville Outdoors.